Appreciate you joining us on Valley News Live. A look down at the Dakota Magic Casino near the South Dakota border. Exit one on I-29 in North Dakota as we see a few clouds off in the distance. A cold night and we definitely have some wind. And we're going to start with a reminder once again. We're going to kind of beat this drum because it's super important. This time of the year with a stretch of cold weather, as brutal as it is, our furnaces are working overtime. So please keep and continue to check that furnace vent for ice blockage. You don't want that C CO carbon monoxide building up in your house. Check your neighbors, pets and livestock and of course those survival kits in your vehicle. And just as an illustration, Debbie sent in a great photo. Here's the vent coming out the side of the house. Some of you have your vents for your furnace on your roof. This stack of ice here goes all the way down to the ground. It can build up very quickly. So keep your eyes on it. Keep your eyes on your neighbors and make sure you keep those things clear. Here's another thing that you can do when it gets this cold in the Rainy River area. Mark captured this. You make that instant cloud with temperatures of 15 below or colder. Hot or boiling water definitely evaporates very quickly, making that cloud. But don't throw it right over your face, kids, because that's definitely no fun. Looking ahead, there is light at the end of the tunnel. First of all, the black line, the zero degree line oscillating here in the valley means some of our southern counties have a shot at getting near zero the next couple of days. But after that late week Thursday and into the weekend, another Arctic blob starts to slide down. Not as many blacks with this blob. I don't think it's going to be as cold as the previous weekend, but some will be very chilly and many of us are definitely still well below zero as that cold air and freezing air dives all the way south into Texas into early next week. They could see sub zero temperatures as far south as Oklahoma and Texas. For us, Tuesday, good sign. Black line, north, Canada, warmer. I'll have details on just how warm next Tuesday is momentarily. Right now, it is not warm. Three below zero as we've fallen from our daytime high of zero. Winds at nine miles per hour, they're tapering off a bit. So that means it is indeed wind chilly once again. Langdon, 13 below. Bedette, 10 below. Grand Forks, seven below. And we have temperatures for Paul Bunyan out there of nine below. Maybe button a couple of those flannel buttons up there if you're heading outdoors in the Bemidji area. Wind chills now over or greater than 30 below outside. So skin can freeze, become frostbitten in 15 minutes or less. In some cases, a few clouds lingering near the north central portion of Minnesota. The rest of us clear, so the radar really quiet as we head into the night, as you could imagine. However, sometimes you just exhale in air this cold. Any moisture in the air instantly freezes and falls out as flakes. If you've ever, ever wondered why snowflakes happen with no clouds in the sky, that's one way. It's just that cold. Any moisture falls right out of the atmosphere. It can't hold it. Winds settle down this evening, but temperatures, they dive down to around 10 below by bedtime tonight for many of us. And in the morning, white temperatures show that 10 to 20 below will be the rule across the area with those pink wind chills greater than 30 below for most of us. So it's another cold ride on the bus tomorrow for everyone. Heading into the midday hour, watch the black line migrate northward as we go into the early afternoon. If you're south of that line, there is a chance again at zero degrees or just above, but most of us will stay sub zero with really, really cold wind chills all day long. Temperatures dive again tomorrow. So same old song and dance, maybe not as warm tomorrow in the south here as we were today. Fargo, we start out at 15 below. Temperatures will ramp their way up, but we'll struggle to get to zero for your day tomorrow with those winds from the west or northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour at times. It'll be wind chilly again. A look at your hometown forecast. It looks like uh, temperatures up well below zero for most. Teens below near the international border. Then near the South Dakota border, a shot at single digits above. Another beauty of the Northern Plains, Aurora Borealis. Thanks, Nikki, for your sandborn shot this weekend. This was dandy. Here's a look at your temperatures now as we go through the next couple days. Morning lows near 20 below, staying below zero. The cold air begins to arrive and arrives as we go into Sunday morning. So this weekend, 20 below or so for morning temperatures with afternoon temperatures only around 5 to 10 for your Valentine's Day weekend. And then, as we told you, Mike, we give you the tail of the tape on Tuesday. That warm up, uh, we've got bacon out. Two strips of bacon to celebrate nine degrees above. Now we're getting fry it, not freeze it. Well, maybe. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks.